Welcome to Transcriptomics 2. In this lesson, we will learn how to perform a t-test to analyze a group of samples that might have considerable variation inside each group. The t-test function in Excel is designed to allow you to compare two sample sets and determine whether the difference between two means is significantly different. Open your RSM expression table from the pipeline listing page in Excel. Make sure that all of your samples are grouped together according to type. In this case, you want all of your ER plus and TN samples organized, as well as grouped together. For this educational data set, this should already be the case, since each sample name begins with the group label ER plus or TN. In other data sets you may work with, however, this may not be the case, and you may have to move the columns so that the samples from the same group are adjacent to each other. Once the RSM table is open in Excel and samples are grouped together according to breast cancer type, you will add a new function after the last column that calculates a t-test on the expression data. You will need to organize the expression data into two data sets called Array1 and Array2. In this case, Array1 corresponds to cells B2 through E2, and Array2 corresponds to F2 through I2. In the cell underneath P value, type t.test, and then select the cells for each array. We will also select a two-tailed distribution because they can go either way. For type, we expect them to be unequal, so we will select two sample unequal variants. Press Enter, and you will notice that your cell displays an error code because you cannot divide by zero. To solve this problem, double-click the small square at the bottom of the cell. Now, you can see the p-value for all rows without zeros. The p-value shows the difference between distributions. We'd like to sort out the values that have zeros in them, and to do this we can select our values across the row, and then filter to include everything except zeros. Now we have our table in a format that excludes zeros. Our goal now is to identify what is differentially expressed. A good row to select would be one that has a p-value less than 0.05 which corresponds to a less than 5% error rate. We can find this by filtering for values less than or equal to 0.05. Now, we can see our differentially expressed genes. To obtain a view that shows us which of these genes might be differentially expressed, we can insert a bar chart into our table, and after some formatting, arrive at something like this. The ENSG gene listed at the top of this bar chart codes for the mitochondrial enzyme ornithine aminotransferase. This is a key enzyme in the pathway that converts arginine and ornithine into important neurotransmitters glutamate and GABA. The y-axis on the chart shows us the level of expression, where the bars represent an expression profile of a given gene or isoform. Differentially expressed genes are the ones we can identify to have a clear difference in expression levels between the two groups. Here you can see that the gene has a higher expression level in the triple negative group compared to the ER positive group. The t-test is commonly used in many software packages, including Excel or SPSS. In this video, we reviewed how to perform a t-test in Microsoft Excel. We will use this experience to continue speaking about gene expression profiles and differences between observations. At the end of this course, you will have a chance to review all of the contents covered as well as practice what you've learned on sample projects.